to at 530 tonight. We are learning more about the future of a local restaurant destroyed by a truck fire two years ago. Gilgris Mill Tavern in Seekonk has been closed ever since. A tractor trailer overturned, sparking the fire. And today we talked to the owner who tells us he hopes to have his business back up and running this fall. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with the details. Well, I was the first reporter on scene back in 2012 when uh, that impressive fire first got started. And we've continued to bring you updates about that building ever since that day. And today we talked with Greg Esme. He seems confident that it will open soon. The video is devastating to locals. The more than 250 year old Grist Mill Tavern was eaten away by flames and smoke after a truck fire in 2012. The owner, Greg Esme, was determined to reopen it, but he wanted to make sure it stayed true to its historic past. That came with challenges. We checked in with him last year as the bones of the building were being assembled. It's taking a little longer, but it'll be worth it. It's going to be a very nice property when it's done. And I came back to the Seekonk restaurant today. It's still a work site on the outside. But on the inside, look at it. It's close to being finished. I'm excited. I'm trying to stay somewhat tempered because obviously I thought before that we were going to move and get close and stuff has gone wrong. But I, I just, so much is finally moving. There's only one or two pieces that need to get finished for us to to be able to get it done. Esme showed me all the things that he talked about from the beginning. The wood on the ceilings are nearly all original. The ducts on the walls, original. The signs, he didn't even try to cover up some of the burnt edges. And this bar, it was made from an elm tree that was damaged in the fire. I, we didn't try to take away the character. It's what makes you who you are, it's your history, it's what it is, and that's what the grist mill is. Esme hopes to open the doors by the end of next month, erasing the damage done by flames. 30 years from now, it's just talked about as a little blip in the, in the history of the grist mill. Now, Esme says he's going to be ho hosting an opening party for anybody who wants to see any of the renovations that have been done over the last two years before the actual grand opening itself. He also says he'll start accepting applications next week. He expects to hire around 50 employees. Live in the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.